Going straight to the action here, we're hitting Neptis with the Nora and the Theo. We're bringing in our dog cop. Alright, this is technically our third attack and hopefully the RNG is still good. We're going to get defense breaks, nice to Maelstrom, easy does it, finish with the Tiana and waiting for the Theo. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty good. Alright, yeah we call it the dog comp because it's so risky but it's so good. And welcome back to Cabino Games. We hope you're doing good. Today we are battling Amity. We got Taomeo. And we're coming from H and H. Let's go to the next defense. More of Ciara, but this time with Anora and Theo. Let's see, I'm thinking LD. How about our latest favorite comp? We got Sylvia with the Gianna and our Chong Pong. All right, represent CP. Let's go, G unit. I mean, this defense, so they don't have immunity or shields. It's going to be a bit unfortunate. I hope that they are not able to cut before our Chong Pong here. We're going to put a bomb on the Sierra just in case she's able to cut. Hopefully, we stun this Nora. Oh no. Okay. What? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, uh, let's just go put Grancing. Okay, good. Serious matter. Reduce attack bars and put up the cooldowns. And let's go work on this Theo before he goes crazy. No glancing, but let's put another bomb on the Ciara. Because technically, of course she resists. This should kill the Theo, right? Okay. Mm, kill the Theo. Let's go remove that. Okay. Put a bomb on this Nora. Resist it again. I'm thinking kill the Ciara or kill the Theo, but looking at the attack bars, right? We should move before the Theo so we can kill him. Nice. And now, 3 versus 1. It's a bit dangerous because this Nora keep putting, uh, what do you call it? Not bombs, but more like dots. But we do have the bomb on her already, so... Nice too! Yeah, we missed the bomb two times though. Man, this guild has a lot of those Sylvias. This time with Zen. I'm interested to... Yeah, most probably the Zen's gonna go first. Right? But not today, we're gonna bring our Jean Leo with the Helena. No, not today, because we bring the Leo. They all on immunity though. Okay, here he goes. Oh no. Can Helena tank this? Mm. Okay. Ui, easy. Easy. Um let's go reduce attack bars. Nice defense break. Transforming back. Let's go for the stun. And provoke. Uh we do have the glancing on the Jean, but pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good we're able to break through it though, but um Yeah, we're getting rid of the Zen. And then we're left with three versus two on the Sylvia and the Theo and we're getting the procs, ladies and gentlemen. And while we're finishing this fight, we got time for shoutouts. Shoutouts go into represent Manila 1976. For Roy, we got Gabriel Infante, Rock Valley, NMZ, Zephyr23456. Teacher Sama, Patrick Dochel, we got Stiny5, So Noob54, we got G and S R A A S L D L D L L. <laughs> yeah, that was quite hard to read that one, but all good. Thank you for your comments, and of course to you, our G unit. Now let's go check out more of these Sylvia Nora combos being attacked by our guildies. We got KM with a Tessarion Diaz and that's Harmonia. Nice team. And a Veramos, Helena and Fong Yen. Alright, well, let's go finish and kick this tower. Kalamua. Okay, good thing they don't have immunity. Defense breaks. Nice too. Resentment. Speed up. Alright, 
Finished him. Okay, good thing. Good thing, uh, you know, sometimes those thin lungs, they go like violent nemesis. Because when you damage them, they get the turn and then they go crazy. Violent rock, stun and everything. Man, OP. Hitting a Tower of Volantis. What? We're bringing in our favorite defense team. We got Fong Yen with the uh, Hollyberry Cookie, the water one, and of course, Aaliyah. Who's gonna go? The Miles is gonna go? Wow, the Volantes, look at that. Oh no. Come on. Ooh. Oh, so much pain. Okay, come on, come on. We gotta wake up. Come on, heal everyone. Okay, can we cleanse that? No cleanse. Okay, nice Valent proc. Let's go. What a holiday cookie. Oh, stun the funky end though. Okay, nice. Wakes up out of it. Oh. <laughs> Those. Yeah, I mean, we get the proc. I think they got the proc too. I mean, yeah, but it's a really good thing that we put in a minus fire artifact on our Fung Yen here. Who's just decimating the rest of this defense right here. But we do have our water holiday cookie just to be safe, right? Because water holiday versus a Carcano, there's no way Carcano can win, right? Okay. So far, so good. Nah, yeah, I don't think Carcano can beat a Water Hollowberry Cookie 1 versus 1, right? We got a good defense right here. It's a Kakano with the Lima and a Water Hollowberry Cookie or the Water Manon. Is that right? Yeah, the Macaroon. Macaroon. They got so many buffs. Makes us want a Molvrick. So let's Molvrick it. A bit tricky though, right? Because there is a uh, this macaroon right here who can negate our um, reckless assault. But we're gonna try it anyway. Let's go for Bidden Galder. Okay, here's the tricky part. Oh no. Well, that's fine because they're gonna be buffing a lot. Oh, no, just survive it. Yeah, that was a 30% chance for, for a parry, right? But I'm expecting the Lima. Yep, to put all those buffs. I mean, the main damage dealer is who? Definitely the Water Manon or Water Macaroon. But we do have a full Forbidden Galder here. And they're getting so much procs though. Let's see. Just survive it, Molong. Okay. Can we steal a buff or heal? I feel like... Let's go for the heal, because our Molong is getting in very dangerous areas. Dangerous waters. Can we freeze? No freeze. Oh, no. Okay, good thing she violent blocked right there. Because then, that's going to heal our Molong. Okay, no more heals for them because we got rid of the Lima. And she's just gonna focus on her Mo Long right here. So, uh, we haven't used our Reckless Assault yet, right? So, yeah, we can reserve it right here. Okay, gives us a full stack of knowledge. Of course, we're gonna cleanse that. And then we're gonna work on this Water Macaroon. Come on. Kill with the Reckless. 29k. Very good. And now 3 versus 1 against this Kakano. There's no way a Kakano can win even an Emilia 1 versus 1. Maybe he can beat, um, say, uh, uh, what do you call it? A Bulwark? But 1 versus 1 Mo Long? Nah, no way. No way. I think only Kinky can beat. NB5s, who's an NB4, generally speaking. Yeah, speaking of NB4s, I'm thinking, let's go play around with our Chilling, right? Chilling will be uh, stealing the buffs coming from the beta, but at the same time, they're going to be getting a lot of buffs, so let's bring him with Miles. 
because Miles gets a lot of his additional speed, right? When he gets all the buffs, or when the, everybody gets buffs, you know, everybody gets buffs. Let's go with Miles. <laughs> In a way, yeah, that's why Bulwark, Emilia, and the Miles is really good. And we do have speed up coming from the chilling too. Yeah, let's go test this comp. Should be fun. It's going to be a bit tricky because we need to kill this beta first, right? Um, let's put up Divine Wind right here. Uh, yeah, keep working on this beta. We're gonna slow her down. That's a good proc because we can speed up. Can we get a stun? No stun, but let's keep working on her. I mean, Lauren could also be good here. Whoa, 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 relax, Mr. Miles. Big stun on Mr. Miles. No stun again. Why you no stun? How about slow? Looking at the attack bars, they're gonna go before the chilling. So let's put invincibility. Okay, good thing we put invincibility, right? Because now we're gonna go divine wind. We gotta slow this Miles down because he's just broken crazy. And his damage scales with his speed, right? Okay, good stun on the beta, so we can... Um, I feel like we should kill this beta already. So that they don't have heals anymore. And then now we can just work on the miles. Uh-oh, this Karkano going crazy. Get stunned! No stun. Hmm... I feel like we should put invincibility on the chilling, but... It should be the safer play instead of going for the stun on that miles, right? Because right now, even if say stun, okay, I was gonna say even if say the um what do you call this, the Karkana is able to kill the Luis. I feel a miles and a Chillin can definitely kill this Karkano, regardless of no heal or whatsoever. Because it's miles, man. I mean in. Chilling will speed him up. That's a really good offense, to be honest. Must be very good. Next up, we got here Kai with the Gakano, Luis, and that's a Miles. OP! And there you have it. That's a GG well played to Amity, Taumeo, and of course our guildies and leaders here at HH. Yeah, we weren't able to finish all our monster attacks for the siege, but it's all good. Time for our Triple S Trophy Box. Let's see, we got three chances for one shiny. Feeling lucky? I don't know. Of course. Hoping to be lucky. Feeling lucky? I don't know. <laughs> but, okay, three mystical scrolls and a lot of purple runes. Are they useful though? Nope. 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 <laughs> and that's it for today. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. Have a great week ahead, and may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.